Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, the God of Israel, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Mashak Yahweh the real cause Christ. Double honor to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom to my fellow laborers out there preaching the gospel, and to, and to uh, those that believe on the gospel as well. This is your brother Pariah, come back and you another lesson. Lord will it and be edifying and filling the spirit to the point. And it's entitled, A Sharp Judgment Shall Be to Them that be in high places and i want to start off in wisdom of solomon chapter 6 and verse 1 hear therefore o ye kings and understand learn ye that be judges of the earth and the judges of the earth that ruling right now in the pursuit of job 9 and 24 are the wicked all right the earth is big being given into the hands of the wicked which are the elite banking families you know uh, you know the edomites all right aka the so-called white man right the white men so this verse 2, give ear ye that rule the people in glory in the multitude of nations. For power is given you of the Lord and sovereignty from the highest who shall try your works and search out all your counsels. Right. The Lord gave Esau the so-called white man power and sovereignty over the earth. And the scripture tell you in uh, Daniel 4 and 17, the most high ruler in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he will and set it up over the bases of men. And he's trying their works, you know, and, uh, you know, searching their, uh, searching out their counsels, as the scriptures say, you know, they can't hide themselves. You know, the most high control their minds to fulfill his will. Man's goings are the Lord, you know. The king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. He turneth it whithersoever he will. Right, the most high, you know, uh, and his son, you know. They know all that there is to be known, you know, in the earth. Uh, you know, this is second edge of chapter 16 and verse 6. You know, to back that up. It says, uh, the Sagittarius 16 and 26, yeah, and the spirit of the almighty power, which made all things and searched out all hated things in the secrets of the earth. Surely he know your inventions and what you think in your hearts, even them that sin and will hide their sin. Therefore hath the Lord exactly searched out all your counsels and he will put you all to shame. All right, so-called white man will be put to shame. And that process is started now through his prophets exposing his devil's wickedness. Right, it was in the Solomon 6 and 4. It says, Because being ministers of his kingdom, ye have not judged aright, nor kept the law, nor walked after the counsel of the Most High. Let's keep telling you, you know, the Most High is not all in his thoughts. And this is uh, a precept to back up uh, William Solomon 6 and 4. The earth is also defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, not their laws that they have created themselves, but the laws of the Most High. It says, change the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. And that's why the earth is out of course. You know, Esau, he caused disharmony and uh, disorder in the earth because he rebelled against the Most High. This saw uh, wisdom of Solomon 6 and 5 horribly. So it's a it's a judgment that is supposed to take place because of that. All right? The Lord is going to visit the so-called white man and those that rule the earth because of uh, their wickedness and the wickedness they spread throughout the uh, planet earth you know scriptures tell you that uh when the when the wicked are multiplied transgress increase so yeah the lord is not a power to have pleasure in wickedness now that shall evil dwell with him the foolish not sent the foolish shall not stand in his sight he hate all workers of iniquity so esau the so-called white man is the biggest worker of iniquity and that's why the judgment got to come down upon him. This is verse 5. Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you. For a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places. That rule the earth. Right? And the scriptures, you know, speak about, um, the scripture says, he shall come upon you. And we know that it's not going to be the most high himself. You know, Lord, he too powerful to come off of his throne. If he come off his throne, man, You know what? He gonna send his son. You know, cause uh, judgment, all judgment have been given unto the son. But so in the Saint John five and verse twenty two. So the Most High uh, is gonna send his son back horribly and speedily to judge uh, those that be in high places. All right, Yahweh Shah, who they call Christ. In Psalms one twenty five, the Lord at thy right hand. So the Messiah or Yahweh Shah is at the right hand of the Father shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath okay he shall judge among the heathen he shall fill the places with dead bodies 
he shall wound the heads, meaning the leaders, over many countries. Yeah, you know, when the king of kings and the lord of lords come back, you know, um, you know on his head will be many crowns, you know, because uh, he's going to conquer the earth and take the authority away from the heathen, you know, chiefly Esau, Edom, so-called white man. Uh, this first verse, uh, first Corinthians, my bad, first Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 24. Then come at the end when he shall deliver up the kingdom to the most high. This talk that he right there speaking about the Messiah, how we shall we come back. It says, shall deliver up the kingdom to the most high, even the father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. So that's what the Lord going to do when you come back, man. Okay. For he must reign till he have put all enemies under his feet. And his enemies will become his footstool. That's his expectation, man. Right as he sit in the heavens right now. You know, and the day of vengeance is in his heart. This was in Solomon chapter 6 and verse 6. For mercy will soon pardon the meanest, but mighty men shall be mightily tormented. For he which is Lord over all shall fear no man's person. Yet yeah, the Lord is not a respect of persons. He don't give a fuck who you is, man. He don't care about your social economic status. He says, Neither shall he stand in awe of any man's greatness. For he hath made the small and great, and care for all the light. But a sore trial shall come upon the mighty. It's Isaiah 24 and verse 21. And it shall come to pass in that day say, uh, that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones. You know, when you have a come back, the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth. And they shall be gathered together, right, with, you know, the elect hunters, you know, the Lord's going to send forth um, many hunters, and they're going to uh, get them from those bunkers that they're hiding in from nuclear destruction, and um, they're going to, uh, we're going to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, as it's written. And to continue on in that verse, it says, as prisoners are gathered in the pit, so they're going to they're gonna be locked up, and it says, and be and shall be shut up in prison, and after many days shall they be visited. It can, man, it's gonna be, it can be a long time, period of time. But they get on, um, you know, when house shall come back, they get uh, locked up in them chains, man. And uh, put in prison. This is Psalms 92 and verse 6. A brutish man, we can close out with this, I ain't wanna make it too long. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doth a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. But thou, Lord, art most high forevermore. For lo, thy enemies, O Lord, for lo, thy enemies shall perish, and all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. Right? The kings of Edom will soon fall, man. Shalom.